Hi guys, how are you? Hope you like the videos about chess and you are learning something new. Let us continue with the movements of the pawn as we have finished last video with the same. So it will be a recap just for the pawns and then we will continue with the uh, other moves. Alright, we said pawn can move only one column in front and except for the first time. First time it can move two columns. Here you will see white pawn moves 2 and black moves 1. In case if black and white moves 2 columns each, then they are just rightly in front of it. It cannot capture, white cannot capture the black one because pawn captures on the diagonal side. It cannot capture a coin a coin in front of it. So it will be diagonally uh, capturing other piece. So this white pawn doesn't have any more legal moves. But in case, this case, the white can move one column in front or it can capture the black piece. It's up to the player. So, you understand that pawn can move only forward. But what happens if the white pawn ends up in the eighth color file or black moves to the first file? This is called a pawn promotion. Here, when it happens, the pawn can be replaced with a queen knight bishop or rook it's up to you you can change the you can replace that pawn with another coin okay now let us see about the most important coin on the chess board that's the king king can move one column all around and if you lose the king the game is over so what we have to do is protect the king at every cost and also try to attack other king so once you capture or the turn to capture the other king, the game should be over. Now you come to another term, which is check. When the king is under attack, the player have to say check. Here, if you see this one, when the rook moves to this file E, the king is under attack. Then the black calls it a check. When there is a check, white has got three options. Either it can capture the piece which is uh, making the check, or it can block the column between um, the piece which is uh, calling check and the king or the king can move to a free column where there is no threat. These red columns doesn't have a threat and the king can move to this column. That's one option. Second option, the bishop can block the file of check or the bishop can capture the rook. In three ways, you can avoid a check. When the king cannot move anymore, it's called a checkmate and the game ends. So in this uh, option, you will see if the rook, the black rook, has got the next move, it moves down to the first file, then it is a check. The king cannot move to the D or F file because these are protected by the other king. and f1 and d1 is protected by the rook that so king cannot move to f1 or d1 also bishop is not in a position to capture the rook or to block the path between rook and the king that means it's a checkmate back and it cannot move uh, any other to any other column and there is no other coin which can be movable it has got a free column to move look at this one when the uh, queen comes to g3, the white king has got no further moves. Pawn on b4 cannot move. H, uh, the king cannot move to any of the three columns around it because it is protected by the queen. That means it's a stalemate. It's a draw. Okay, now let us see some special moves in chess. See, here both white and black pawns moved advanced on the five fifth file but if the black pawn moves one column from the original file it can white can capture that pawn but if instead of one column if it passes two columns then it surpasses the column where white can capture it in that case it is called en passant that means very next move white pawn can capture that black pawn as if it had moved only one uh, column so it will occupy that white uh, white column and the black uh, pawn will be removed. 
The exception is when black movie makes the move and you didn't capture it at that time, you made some other move and then black moved its next piece, then you cannot capture any more because you'll have to do and pass on at the very next move, very next move of you, you'll have to do it. Okay, next one is castling. This is the only move where two pieces can be moved at the same time. But it has got some rules. Now, if you look at it, in this case, the king will move to the column, two column onto the right side and the uh, rook uh, occupies the uh, column which is next to it. That's called king side castling. And queen side castling will be, as you see here, the king will be moving to the black column and um, white, uh, the rook will be moving to the D column. That's queen side castling. The basic rules are the king, it should be the first move of the king, it should be the first move of a, a rook and all the columns between these two coins should be empty. Also, the king should be, it should not be under a check attack. Um, here in this case, rook is uh, um, attacking the king, it's a check, you cannot um, do a castling when it is a check. Also, castling cannot be done through a check. If you look at here, the D file is being controlled by the rook and there is a check. So you cannot do a queen side castling in this case. You can do a king side castling in this case, but because there is no check attack. So these are a basic moves of chess. Hope you like it and see you at the next class.